So today we're going to walk through the steps required to run an acceleration test on a Superflow chassis dyno. So from our handheld controller here, we're going to hit the test button. That's going to take us into our test setup menu. From here we can choose the type of test we're going to run. In today's case we want to run an acceleration test. There's a couple different types of acceleration tests. We're actually going to tell it that we want to run a timed acceleration test, which will let us run from a starting mile an hour or RPM to an ending mile an hour or RPM over a set duration of time. So I'm going to select our timed Excel test. I'm going to set our parameters. Like I said, we're going to run from 30 miles an hour. We're going to finish at 50 miles an hour. And we're going to do that in 10 seconds. So our test parameters are now loaded. Once we hit proceed, the dynamometer is going to prompt you on the screen with some steps that you need to do with the throttle uh, to run the complete acceleration test. So we're going to hit proceed. And the dyno is now asking me to apply th throttle to whatever the desired position is. When we get to 30 miles an hour, the dyno is going to hold us there, and not let us accelerate any further until we're stabilized and ready to run. So now the car and the dyno are stable at 30 miles an hour, we're going to hit the D key to excel. That's it. That's how you run an Excel test on a Superflow chassis dyno.